Hello internet, something a little bit different today. Uh, I'm using a different camera to film this video on and that is the point of this video. Now, the camera I'm filming on um, is actually an old iPhone 5C which used to belong to my sister and she gave it me a few years back because my old phone broke and I never got it working and then I found it the other day and uh, I thought I'd give it a shot, see if it was worth using it to record little videos on while I'm out and about rather than me using my DSLR. So I normally use my um, Canon 700D. Uh, I have got a Rode video mic, which obviously gets better audio for that. And while I was there, I did find, uh, while I was looking through boxes, I found another iPod and I found another iPod. And I also found another iPod. Um, this was actually mine, those were like family members. Uh, this is the iPhone, I, what am I about iPhone? iPod Touch second generation running iOS 4 I think um, so I can't really do much to it um, but it does obviously still play music really well and uh, yeah and it's got Bluetooth so I can use my headphones it has a headphone jack if I want to use wired headphones it's pretty pretty great I might start using it again uh, this is obviously like I said 5c this is only in 720 um, because I wanted to use the front camera uh, the back camera does do 1080 but I'm interested mainly in seeing what the quality looks like, what the audio sounds like, whether it's worth when I go out and about taking this with me and just using it as a little camcorder um, so that I don't kind of waste my phone battery, you know, if I'm in the middle of nowhere and I need charge or obviously not taking my big camera with me. So, um, yeah. So if this whole video is in 720, bear with me because I filmed this. Although saying that, I could... Upscale, no, I'm not going to upscale, no, that might, that'll look even worse. Um, but it looks okay on screen, that's why my eyes keep flicking there, I always do that when I'm looking at a screen. I never look at the actual camera, I need to remember to look at the camera, not at the screen. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's get some test footage and see if this is worth using in 2020 as a camcorder. So after editing that first bit, um, I am pretty impressed with the audio, the, the sound quality on this is great. Uh, the picture's not too bad, but there's no manual settings, so sometimes I think you can like lock the exposure, you can tap the screen and do the focus and the um, kind of exposure. Like on that first shot of the, the iPods and stuff, that was difficult, let's be fair, it, it was on a very dark surface, uh, and obviously the screens were really bright so um, yeah uh, the white balance as well it tends to get it a bit strange um, so I did white balance all the shots that's pretty much the only editing I've done to it obviously this clip and that first one you know anywhere you see me um, they've been upscaled so that's going to drag the quality down a little bit then we're going from 720 to 1080 um, but other than that I'm pretty impressed um, I think it, it, it it's viewable certainly um, I think obviously the image stabilization, I don't think it's got any in, as you can see me shaking now. Um, but when I edit, I tend to put stabilization on, which I know obviously post processing it, it's not as great as having it in camera. Um, but you know, for certain shots, you just need to stabilize it afterwards anyway. Um, like I said, I didn't stabilize any of, any of that you've just seen, uh, just white balance basically. Um, so I think the verdict is. I may actually start using this, um, not all the time, but you know, just to get random shots because, hey, it's a capable device kind of thing. It's obviously got all of its memory still because I've got nothing on it. I can't really put anything on it with it being um, iOS 10. None of the new apps really work or anything. Uh, the only downside is probably going to be the battery, um, but obviously when I'm not using it, I can keep it turned off. And uh, yeah, other than that, I think... Uh, 
it's doable. I mean, obviously I could put it in airplay mode as well because uh, I'm not going to be taking calls or anything because it's not got a SIM card in or anything. It's not going to be a phone. It's only going to be for video. So I think for that purpose, um, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly impressed. And I think anyone that that, that wants to look at old devices, um, especially video quality now, Apple devices, you can get them fairly cheap. Well, they tend to hold the price, but rip kind of this age ones will go for a lot cheaper. Um, saying that, if you did want a cheap camera, there's a lot of cheap Android devices out now that are sub £100, probably some sub £50. They've got great cameras, probably do 4K and stuff. But yeah, if you see one around and you think, oh, is it worth picking up if it's dead cheap? If you just want a quick thing to do video on, um, then yeah, I think it's fine. I think the main thing that shocked me um, although I did, I think I did mention that I knew iPhones were pretty good at is the audio quality, because especially a lot of old phones, that's what would let them down. As the video quality went up, none of the manufacturers tended to focus on the audio, which is a shame because I think it's the audio that makes the video in a way. People have said, you know, you can have the greatest or uh, you can have the the greatest um, quality footage. Um, but if the audio is crap, people will turn off straight away. Whereas the other way around, if your footage is not great, but your audio sounds crisp, clear, and nice, um, it's definitely more viewable. I know I've seen videos before where a video, someone had, they'd got their mic setting not right and they'd got a lot of noise and stuff. And um, even though the quality was, you know, 4K, great, looked amazing, well lit and everything, uh, I just couldn't watch the video, which is a shame because I really wanted to like their stuff. But... I just couldn't watch it. There was just this like hum in the background and it annoyed me. Um, so yeah, uh, I think this is viable. This is my test complete. Like I say, I'm, I'm not really gonna go into the battery life testing. Um, I'll just have to see how that goes. Um, but worst comes to worst, I, I mostly do carry a battery pack with me when I'm out, but I will rather save that for my actual phone. Um, but anyway, yes, bit of a weird video. Um, completely different to normal. I know my videos are all over the place anyway. So yeah, leave a comment if you if you also use old ooh, lens flare. Um, yeah, leave a comment if you use old tech to in any part of your production because it's like, well, it's capable. Maybe not quite up to standards, but hey, it's capable. So why not use it? Why let all these old phones and things go to waste? Um, so yeah. Anyway, I will see you next time.